Hey guys, welcome back to the joy of wrenching. I'm your friendly neighborhood mechanic, and today we're back on Project Retro Joe, 1978 Corvette. And today's a special day because we're gonna take it for its first drive in 20 years. I'm excited and I hope you are too. Come along and let's see what we get into. Okay guys, so if you don't remember, the 1978 Corvette here has been off of the road for 20 years. And so we have gone through system by system and I'm showing you how to refresh or replace where necessary an old car that's been sitting around and get it ready to be back on the road. So we've gone through this one, we've gone through the entire fuel system, we've gone through the ignition system, the cooling system, the braking system, and all those videos are out on my channel, so you can go back and check those out. And it doesn't, it's not just specific to a Corvette. Uh, just about any old car is gonna need these things overhauled. And so we've done all of those things, and the goal here is just to get a running and driving vehicle. And so we're there, and so time, it is finally time to take it for its very first test drive. And so I want you guys to come along with me and see what kind of adventure this is. Um, I have started the car, so I know it runs, but we haven't driven it around yet, so we're gonna see how these things perform. So come along and let's go see what happens. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Well, it started, that's always a good sign. All right, oh, hey now, got a little bit of smoke. Let me get it out of the garage. Feels like it might be missing a little bit, but who knows why. I'm gonna let it just sit here for a second and take a look. We've got, uh, come over here, let me see the camera real quick. Right, so we've got uh, some gauges here. We've got good oil pressure, good charging. Oh man, look at all that smoke out there. We've got uh, temperature coming up. Don't have a lot of fuel in there, so I don't expect that, but wow, let's go take a look. Back here, we are seeing some smoke. Hopefully you're picking that up. There's a lot of smoke coming out of that tailpipe. A little bit coming out of this side, but more so on the passenger side there. Let's make sure nothing's pouring out from underneath it. Uh, a couple of drips of power steering fluid, but uh, nothing else. You can hear a few knocking noises here and there, but not too bad. Well, let's go and take it for a spin. Okay, here we go. Well, the brakes are working, that's the main thing. A lot of smoke. You know, the engine's been sitting for 20 years, so internally there could be a lot of things in there that need either adjustment and or replacement. Think uh, valve seals, piston rings. It had good compression, so I don't think the engine is completely wore out, but uh, again, everything rubber on this car so far has needed to been replaced see if it shifts in a second come on shift a little hard a little high revving but oh there she goes shifted to second but it took a little while look in the back there you see a, we're leaving a uncle buck cloud of smoke going back behind us <laughs> oh man this is fun but uh yeah my uh my beautiful wife here who's filming us is uh not too excited about uh, the the possibility of us having to walk back home but you know that's part of it you know but uh it is running it is driving i'm watching my gauges here we got temperature coming up we've got uh, good oil pressure that's the main thing don't know how much fuel's in this thing so hopefully we don't want, we won't run out of gas well she is a driver guys i'm excited it's been a long time coming, 20 years before or since the last guy sat here and done this. But it's running good. It is shifting a little, little delayed, but it does shift. So I'm thinking that we're probably low on transmission fluid. It does leak transmission fluid, and I thought I had checked the level, but you really need to check the level with it running. So we may need to put a little training fluid in here. 
but uh, I am excited to say that it does run and it does stop <laughs> and uh, you know it is it is the first time this old girl has been back on the road you know what I gotta try though you gotta try it we're gonna have to do a burnout right she has waited for 20 years to do this so we're gonna do it uh, I know my wife is, is sitting here saying no 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 but we're gonna try it anyway that's all part of the experience right so let's get to a place where we can at least coast on home if we break something huh all right so this looks like a good spot no not yet okay all right here we go a little bit of a downhill run you ready guys let's see what she'll do oh no, it doesn't do it. But look at the Uncle Buck smoke we left, left down behind. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, well. Let's take it on home before something doesn't work no more. <laughs> there. Oh, this is a lot of fun. This is the joy of wrenching. You work really hard for a long time, and then there's that final payoff. But that's where we're at, guys. And you know what? <laughs> there may be smoke coming. Check out the smoke coming out from under the hood. The smoke pouring out of the back of the engine. Oh my goodness. Just think, let's go see how bad this is. Oh wow. Yeah, that ain't good. So that engine's not doing too hot. Let's see. Are we low? We're not pouring anything underneath, so that's always a good sign. We got a little bit of a little bit of racket coming from the engine. Smoke coming inside. Looks like some burning off of the valve covers there. Well, they were soaked in oil, so I kind of expected that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn this thing off. But she's a runner, guys. She's a runner. Let's see what... All right. Wow. Well... <laughs> we did it we made it around the block but as you can see there's a lot of oil burning off of this engine it's been leaking out I had to replace the valve covers they were they were leaking profusely um, and so I think there's a lot of oil just on the exhaust that's burning off now and smoking off smells like ah smells like 20 years of, of, of uh, a sitting car it's just not healthy for a car to sit that long but uh, we got this one back on the road and so I know her owner is gonna be ecstatic to finally get to drive his car for the first time in 20 years um, Wow well it's been a process and as you can tell there's still a lot that needs to be done but the goal here was to get it running and driving safely and that's what we've done now I'll try and tidy up a few things, but I think uh, I think it's time to let our owner give it a spin too. What do you guys think? Well, Retro Joe is a driver, guys. Finally, after 20 years of sitting on the side of the house. Look at that, 2005, 2004. So, you know, although it's a driver, <laughs> you know, you're not gonna take this thing long distance. You're not, you may not even take it around town all day okay there are still so many different things that it, that need to be done need to be addressed before it's going to be a reliable daily driver but at least it's safe to drive around the block scratch that itch and one of the things that we noted and as i mentioned the first time you take something for a drive you're going to find stuff that you think it needs in addition to what you thought it needed before you took it for that drive and so on this test drive we learned that it smokes pretty bad <laughs> and that uh, it sh it's got a delayed shift so it may need some uh, transmission fluid and as far as the smoking goes you know it's probably worn valve seals something like that and that's a somewhat involved process of to replace those so I don't know if the owner's going to want to do that but before we go to that level it might be fun for us to see if one of these magic bottles of uh, anti-smoke like this one here this is a barred all no smoke i'm going to try and pour this in there and we're going to see if this helps or, or or even cures this issue 
I got a feeling it's probably not going to fix it completely. It might get a little better, but uh, it definitely needs some attention. So that's probably the next step. So we'll be watching for that video. And until then, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.